guys, welcome back. It's Stephanie from My Porch Prints. And today we are continuing our series on making this double folding journal. And we've gotten the outside covers done and we're gonna go ahead and start filling up the inside. And just to help you remember how this journal is going to work, it's going to fold kind of like this. This will be the back spine. Oh, ha! <laughs> and I put these flowers on here because I was thinking of gluing them on, but I didn't want to do it off camera because I didn't want someone to say, where did those come from? Um, but these are from our Fussy Cut Flowers kit. And we're going to be putting a clasp here. And we're going to be filling up this inside today. So let's go ahead and get started with that. And before I forget, I am going to glue these little flowers to the front cover because I thought it needed just a little bit more shabby pink. What do you think? I kind of like that. Okay, so we're going to turn this over. And we're gonna remember that it opens like this and then like this. And we're gonna go ahead and start decorating this back panel. And to do that, I'm going to be making a little um, folder journal. And for this, I'm gonna be using these um, Shabby Script mini folders. And this is from a listing in my shop. I'll put the link down below. And just so you know, a reminder, we're gonna be using the Shabby Script um, journal kit. To, to decorate most of this journal. And um, I went ahead and cut these out and rounded the corners and all that. And now I'm gonna pick just a few of these to become a little journal. And I like, I like all of these. I'm not sure which ones I want. Maybe these guys. And to do this, you're going to need to take these and fold them backwards, just like this, so that the inside is on the outside. And then, let's see if I can remember how this works. And then for the front and back cover, you're going to leave it folded the correct way. Or, well, I don't know if correct is the right word, but the way that you would think of folding it. And we're going to glue these together. And what we're going to do is just glue around the top, the side, and the bottom. And that's going to create a kind of tuck spot here where we can tuck, you know, cards and things. Just right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these together. And you wanna to try to line it up the best you can because if it slides around a lot, it's gonna slide that glue all over the place. There we go, and you can see how it's going to become kind of like a little booklet.
And then we can go ahead and decorate this just a little bit. Here we go. And we go like that. Go ahead and glue that guy down. Got some brown craft paper. I think I'm going to try to use this. And that should make some pockets for little tags and things. Little, little tags. Maybe not as big as this guy. And then this should slip in here. Oh, I might have made it too big. You know, I don't always calculate things correctly. that will slip in but um, if you want to make sure you might want to print these at 90% or something just so they're a little bit smaller okay so that'll go in there once it's dry and then we're going to go ahead and keep decorating I think we're gonna do this other panel oh well, actually I think I'm gonna do this one so um, I have an envelope here, and this um, is a freebie that I'm gonna offer in my Facebook group. So if you wanna get, get a hold of one of these, you can join our Facebook group and you'll find freebies in the files tab. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that on this panel right here. And then we're going to put our little ripped booklet that we made in the last video inside here. Let me make sure it's going to fit. It looks pretty close. I may have to rip just a little bit more off the edge over here. And remember I said if you want to get your rip started, you can give it just a little snip with your scissors. Okay. And that might do it. We'll see. So I just need to glue this envelope together. And then I'm just gonna glue the sides and the bottom and that'll leave the top open if I want to put something behind it. And then for this booklet, you can staple it or sew it or whatever you want to do, or you can just tie a ribbon around it. I think I'm going to try to staple mine, although I don't know where my long stapler is. So I'm going to take a quick look around, see if I can find that. Well, I can't find it, so I'm going to use some string and just tie it. Like I said, you could sew it if you want to. But since it's such a small little thing, I'm just gonna go ahead and tie these pages.
And I'm probably gonna wanna wait for this to close. I could use a magnet if I wanted to, or um, since it's just kind of paper and flappy, I probably don't wanna put that much weight on it. So I think I'm gonna use just like a small um, fussy cut of some sort. Or possibly a button. to accidentally get glued in there. We'll let that dry. And I think I'm gonna decorate this just a little bit with maybe some ribbon or a little embellishment of some kind. Okay, and to cut the corners of this ticket, I like to use a little punch. It works pretty slick for that. Go ahead and ink this. You can hear Toby's tip tip tipping. He's getting anxious. In a minute, Tobe. Might use a little fussy cut flower. And maybe some of this ribbon. I don't know. I'm thinking. Okay. So I'm gonna add just a little texture cause as you can see, I love cheesecloth for texture. You could also use some lace or, you know, whatever. And I've got this cool little paper clip that looks all cool and old and I'll try to put a link to these down below. I'm just gonna go ahead and hook this onto here. There we go. And I think I glued this a little too close, so I'm gonna snip a little bit of this end off right here. Hopefully I can get it somewhat straight. I'm not very good at that. Okay, we're getting there. We're decorating this book, filling it up. And then over here, I'm actually going to be putting a little like junk journal, some pages, so that somebody could journal in this if they want to. And then over here, am I on the camera? I'm gonna be doing some kind of little flip. So let me put some thought into this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and make the flip first. And to do that, I'm going to need some pieces from my shabby script kit. So I've got this scrap cardstock and I'm just going to cut it to size. And it's going to work like a hinge. And what I want to do, if I can find my little bone folder here, is fold it one direction and then fold it the other direction so that it gets some good hinge action and it will open and close easily. Same thing with this larger piece. open and close and I'm going to glue that in between these two pieces. And if I'm gluing this one on this side, then I'll probably want to glue this one on this side. Oops, I'm upside down again. Okay. 
and that way I can overlap these two pieces. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this under here and this under here and I'm just going to make a cute little flip just like that. And now we've got a little flip. And if you want, you can add a little pocket of some sort in your flip. Might do that. I'll let that dry for a minute and before we glue that down we're gonna go ahead and make our hidden spine for our little journal that's going to go in here okay so for the little um, interior journal I've made this freebie it's a hidden spine and it's made to the size of this journal which is you know uh, four and a half or four point two five by five and a half so a quarter you know of an eight and a half by eleven paper and I printed mine on cream colored cardstock so it won't, you know, be too bright. But you could also um, print some of this background paper on cardstock and then run it back through the printer and print this spine on top of it, and that will help kind of hide the spine. And I think before I make this a freebie, I'm going to try to lighten up these lines because I think they're a little bit dark right now. So I've cut out my hidden spine and this little um, template guide and what I'm going to do is fold it along the lines. I scored mine on my scoreboard first and then you also want to fold it backwards because you want to make sure that there's plenty of give. I'm going to need to punch out all of these holes and I've got a um, crocodile big bite that I'm gonna be using, but you could use like an awl or a um, sharp needle or whatever works best for you. Okay, so I've punched out my holes and this is going to go right here. And I've got these copy dyed papers, which I ordered on Etsy. I'm sorry, I can't remember which vendor I bought them from, but um, you can make some for yourself or order some. I used to make them for myself, but I found that the ones I order are so much nicer. <laughs> and you can also print some. I've got um, a kit with uh, papers that look like they were copy dyed, so you can um, certainly use that. I'll try to put a link down below. And what I'm going to do is just fold these in half. Running out of space here. And then fold them in half again. And this is going to create the signatures for our journal. And then I'm also going to be taking some papers from the kit and just doing the same thing. Folding them in half and folding them in half again. And I printed these double-sided, so I printed them and then I ran them back through the printer and printed on the back. And that's gonna make just some papers that match the kit. So um, you wanna find the side that's folded and we're gonna go ahead and cut that off. 
so that they can these can be true pages that open. Like a regular page and you want to do that with all of these and these might be a little thick so I'm gonna open them up like this And so I'm just going to intersperse these a little bit with some of the pages from the journal kit. And I'm going to start with four, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That worked out well. Okay, and so I've got four signatures of four pages each. And the reason I have four signatures is because I have one, two, three, four holes. And that's because I'm going to need four signatures of pages in my journal. And I've got this little guy. He matches up with the holes on here because this is going to become a guide that we use in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get some clamps to hold these closed. You could use, you know, a paper clip or whatever you've got on hand. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure these pages are all kind of lined up. And then I'm gonna clamp them and use this guide, kind of centering it here. And a pencil or pen, if I can find one. And then I'm just going to mark these three little holes right here in the middle. And I'm going to do that on each of my pages, each signature pages. Okay, and once I have my holes marked, I'm going to go ahead and cut them. Again, you can use a um, pin or an awl or something like that. I'm going to use my crop dial. Big bite. And you want to try to get the hole right on that crease. So now that we've got our holes, I've got my book binding kit here and it comes with needles and wax thread and I'm going to go ahead and use this to sew my signatures, my folded pages, into my hidden spine piece. So I like to get about one and a half the length of the book. So one two, sorry, two and a half is what I meant to say, and a half. And then I'm just going to thread my needle here and let this little tail hang out and have this long tail. And I'm going to line up my first signature of pages. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking I might want one of these kind of pretty papers on the outside. I think I'm gonna do that. Just so it's kind of the first thing you see when you open the book. And I got way out of alignment with my signatures here. My holes are quite a bit off. Hopefully I can still make that work. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is line up this first set of holes with these holes. And I'm gonna come in from this, let me see if I can flip this over, this middle back hole, and I'm gonna go through the middle hole of these. 
and then I'm going to let a little tail kind of dangle out and I'm going to come up through the bottom hole and then I'm going to go all the way up to the top hole. Oh, Toby found a chew toy that's squeaking. And oops, I almost pulled that out of my needle. And then I'm going to go back out the middle hole. Don't make a mess of things here. Okay, and if you're like, what? What is she talking about? I have a video showing how to do this. It's called a pamphlet stitch, and it's how a lot of people sew their pages into their journal. So I will put a link down below, and that might help you understand what's going on here if you're new to junk journaling. And what I'm gonna do is pull these two strings tight. I want one on either side of this long string. I'm gonna pull them tight, and then I'm gonna tie them. And I like to give them a triple tie just to make sure they don't come undone. And um, some other people have suggested some more complicated knots, um, like fisherman's knots and things. So um, you can look into that and see what knot works best for your project. And then I'm gonna cut the extra, but I'm gonna leave a little bit so it doesn't slip out. And that'll be my first signature of pages. And then I'm going to repeat that for the next three signatures. Okay, so now we've got our journal, our pages sewn into our hidden spine piece, and we're gonna go ahead and attach that here on our journal. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of make sure it all lines up, and then I'm going to glue this flap here and this flap here. Notice that the fold is just a little bit off from the spine that happens sometimes. So you can just um, kind of change where it folds if you need to. Okay, so you'll probably remember we made this little um, flip that we're oops, going to put here. And you can kind of see some of the edge of this piece. If you wanted, you can hide that with some scraps. And then when I glue this down, I think I'm going to, yeah, maybe I'm going to leave this edge open in case I want to make a tuck spot of some sort. And you could leave the top open or whatever you want to do. Actually, I might leave both of them open and just do kind of an L shape here. Okay, and then over here, we're gonna wanna decorate and maybe add another little pocket of some sort. And you can see I made some of my pages just a bit long because this kind of poofs out in the middle. So I may trim those down just a little bit.
Okay, we are getting really close to done. The last thing we're probably going to be doing is adding our waterfall and then our closure and then maybe doing a little bit more decorating. Um, but I think that's it for this time. So we will see you again. Thanks for watching, guys.